Welcome to Track Flash, and today, we have officially arrived at a very special time of the year, the Olympic Games buildup. Many of the world's best athletes are now in their busy season. This is easily one of my absolute favorite periods in any sporting year. What makes these months so special is that, along with impressive times being recorded left and right, we have huge storylines and new rivalries building up for the masses. Thankfully, 2024 is providing us with some mouth-watering stories heading into Paris, France. Shakari Richardson was shining at the 2021 U.S. Olympic Trials in Hayward Field, Eugene, when she earned her first-ever Olympic squad selection in the 100 meters. Richardson easily qualified for the Olympic Games in Tokyo with a final time of 10.86 seconds. But once marijuana was discovered in her system, she was disqualified and the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency banned her for one month, meaning she was unable to compete in the Tokyo Olympics. The American, who now holds the title of world champion in the women's 100 meters, will make her Hayward Field comeback this month for the Olympic track and field trials of 2024. Shakari, the current global 100 meter champion, is now ranked first in the world for women's 100 meters after clocking a time of 10.65 seconds from lane 8 in last year's global championship final. Only once this year, at the Prefontaine Classic, did Richardson participate in the 100 meter event. She won in 10.83 seconds, which is the third fastest time of the year. Shakari is the favorite to win the 100 meter title ahead of her fellow countrymen, as she is also competing in the 200 meters at the trials. Richardson will face stiff competition in Eugene, notably from one of the best experienced runners in America, Aaliyah Hobbs. With a timing of 10.86 seconds, Hobbs is fourth in the world this year and owns a personal best of 10.81 seconds from 2022. Jada Sears, 22, is another person who could pose a threat. She set a new NCAA record in the 100 meters in April at the Tom Jones Memorial Invitational in Gainesville, Florida, with a timing of 10.77 seconds, second only to Shakari Richardson. Since April, Sears' time of 10.77 seconds has held the record for the women's 100 meters worldwide, making her the clear favorite to qualify for the U.S. squad. Mackenzie Long is also double up this month. She won the 100, 200, and 4 by 100 meter gold at the recent NCAA championships. Long's time of 10.91 seconds puts him in the running to make the U.S. Olympic team. Many competitors who have timed under 11 seconds, such as Tamari Davis, Tamara Clark, Melissa Jefferson, Jenna Prandini, and Abby Steiner, will also be competing in the Olympic trials. The top three finishers at the U.S. trials will make the U.S. team, making for a highly competitive event. Who do you think will make the top three in the women's 100 meters at the U.S. Olympic trials this year? Make sure to comment and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more track and field videos.